guys, welcome to Mountain Road. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you the simple steps to making beef stock. So first of all, you're going to need some soup bones. Uh, I have some here. They have been in the freezer and uh, thawing for the last few hours. And so you want to source your uh, soup bones from a free range organic farmer if possible. Uh, grass fed meat uh, for a cow is always best. Um, so. It's not always easy to find in the grocery stores. Uh, you might have to go to a farmer's market or look up farmers in your area to be able to buy directly. We actually buy a steer from a friend of ours who raises a couple of cattle each year. Uh, so that's an option as well. Uh, if you have a large enough freezer that'll hold uh, all the, the different cuts of the steer. For our South African viewers, when we lived in South Africa, uh, I used to be able to find uh, soup bones at Woolies really easily. So um, it's a really great way to get uh, some high quality meat uh, at a very cheap and affordable price. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so all you need is some kind of um, either a slow cooker or you could do this on a stove top at a very low heat or even in the oven at a very low heat. Um, and we're going to be uh, having this stock cook for about four hours or so, uh, just for it to simmer. So first of all, we're going to just add in the bones. And you can see there's some red on here, so there is some meat, but not a whole lot. Um, And then I also get, when we get the steers, we also get liver, um, which I really am not a big fan of uh, beef liver. Um, I don't mind the chicken liver or duck liver as much, but yeah, I'm really not a big fan of beef liver. But I'm gonna add it to the stock so that that way a lot of the nutrition from the liver will get into the stock and then the leftovers I can give to my cat. <laughs> So we've got the beef stock and the liver in our container that we're going to cook it in. Again, this could be on your stove top in a big uh, pot or it can be in the oven in a big pot that uh, is oven safe. Okay, and next we're going to need water. And so you can fill your crock pot just kind of to just above the top of the bones. So that was one liter. I'm probably going to need another. So that's about 10 cups for me. Next step, very important, is apple cider vinegar. And this is going to just help uh, the nutrients from the bones kind of seep into the broth. Uh, I am just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> just a couple of tablespoons, maybe like three tablespoons or so, but I just am pretty generous with the amount of apple cider vinegar that I add. Okay. And next I'm going to add some bay leaves, um, and then I've got, you wanna add a couple of uh, vegetables. So the general, you know, starting base for a broth is normally onions, carrots, and celery. I don't have celery uh, with me in the refrigerator today, so that's okay, you know, you don't have to have all of these things to make for a good broth, but just as long as you have a few, it'll, help bring out the flavor. And I'm just gonna cut up the onions in uh, big chunks. Okay, the first half. So I'm just cutting the onion into fourths. Okay. All right, so the whole onion is going in there. And now I'm just gonna cut up these carrots, I cut off the ends and then just um, add them in in big chunks. Careful with the knife, of course. Hold it nice and sturdy and watch out for your other hand. All right, now I've got all our veggies. 
veggies in there. And then the last thing is just you can add a little bit of seasoning. Um, I'm a big fan of Himalayan salt, so I add a ton. <laughs> and I add thyme to basically everything. I love thyme. Um, ginger also is a great one if you have fresh ginger just to add in and gives it some great flavor. And a little bit of sage. And that's it. <laughs> so all you have to do is first of all find some free range grass fed organic beef soup bones. Um, and then secondly, uh, you're just going to add some apple cider vinegar, several cups full of water, usually, you know, eight to 10 or so. Um, Himalayan salt, ginger, you can add fresh ginger or, um, since I don't have any, I'm just using, uh, powdered carrots, onions, celery, a little bit of sage if you want to, maybe if there are other uh, spices or seasonings that you really like. I don't add uh, black pepper. I just we're not big fans of spice so um, Don't add that and we don't add, add garlic, but if you like garlic if you like um, black pepper go for it So once this is done simmering for about four hours, I am going to use it for another recipe um, so you could just make a vegetable soup with it um, just you could take the carrots and the onions out let them cool off and cut them up into smaller pieces and add in some other vegetables, maybe some cabbage or peas, um, even some cauliflower, finely chopped up, uh, add that in and let it cook for another hour or so until the veggies are nice and soft. Um, maybe add in a little bit more salt, uh, a little bit more seasonings if you need to, just kind of to taste. So that is how you make beef stock. <laughs> so in the next video, I'm going to show you a recipe that you can make using your beef stock. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to how to make beef stock, not beef broth or beef bone broth. <laughs> They're all very confusing. This is beef stock because uh, it's just going to cook for four hours. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys try out this recipe, please let us know how it goes in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and come back for more recipes. Thanks!